I'm here at Vandry Furniture, and just look at all this stuff in here. I mean, there's just furniture everywhere, and there's all these different styles. You kind of got something that's a little contemporary here, and you got more traditional stuff here. There's this rustic, cool table over here with the wheels on it, and then you got stuff like this that are just a little bit funky. You know, I've been reading in Second Peter, and uh, in chapter 1, verse 3, it says, His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of Him. Everything we need for life and godliness. But then a few verses later, he says, Now take that faith and add to it goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, brotherly kindness, godliness, and love. And we're supposed to add these things to it. And I thought, now wait a minute, you just said you've given us everything we need for life and godliness, and now you want us to add to it. Well, it made more sense when I began looking at it and realized what he was saying is this add to kind of has a flavor to it of furnishing. And so, you know how it is when you, when you buy a house, and the you, you, first thing you're looking at it, and it's just four walls and, and a floor, or it's somebody else's furniture that you're looking at, but it's not yours. It just doesn't feel like home until you get that day where you get everything moved in, you get everything arranged just the way you want it, and you say, now it feels like home. Why? Because it's furnished with stuff that fits you. Well, I think as we're looking at this passage of Scripture, we're going to find out that God wants to furnish us with stuff that's going to fit us, that's going to be uniquely us as we grow in our faith. And so some of us are going to be a little more traditional, some are going to be contemporary, and let's face it, some of us are just going to be plain funky. But that's who we are and how God has made us to be. So, coming up in the last three weeks of April, we're going to be doing a series called Fully Furnished, and we're going to be looking at 1 Peter chapter 1 and studying what it means to be fully furnished with all the things God wants to put in our lives. So, I hope you'll be with us. 10 o'clock, Journey Church. Hope to see you there.